Hey guys, uh, today I have something pretty cool to show you. I'm going to be unboxing the PS4 console, which is the limited edition version for Black Ops 3. Now it comes with the uh, Nuketown map and a couple of little extras, and we'll check out uh, what it looks like and how it differs from the typical PS4 console. Now as you can see, um, it comes with the console, obviously all the controllers, it also comes with an extra uh, earbud uh, microphone uh, and the game itself and the Nuketown map. So I don't think it has the season pass or anything like that. So if you want the season pass, you're going to have to get it separately, obviously. Let's see here. Now, something that's kind of fun for me, and I, it's probably going to be the only time I'm going to have a little bit of an ego boost here, is the back of the box has all the screenshots and screen grabs of the game. Um, it's funny that they happen to pick for the biggest image of the box a uh, screenshot of the uh, shot that I actually worked on. <laughs> so for me, I was pretty thrilled just turning the box around and seeing a huge ass picture of uh, Hendrix uh, from the shot I did. So that was a really nice boost. I don't know what I would do. I'm not going to frame a box, but like, I, I thought that was kind of a nice per personal perk for me. Now let's open up this box and see what's inside. We got a box in a box, like boxception. Okay. First of all, we have the controller. Now the controller is themed with the Black Ops typical orange and black. Now you'll notice. Um, Everything, like, feels-wise, seems like it's like a typical controller. Um, the only difference is the color. Uh, analog stick feels identical to the regular PS4 controllers. Everything else, the grips and all that. It's not like it's any different materials, it's just purely different colors. But it's kind of cool. I like it. You got the little three in the corner. Now the three is a little awkward just because it looks like, uh, doesn't quite fit with the rest of it. It might be nicer if it was either a little bigger or maybe differently placed on the controller, but that's all right. Overall, it's a pretty cool design for a controller, I think. Uh, standard, standard cables. Get one of the uh, default mics. Okay, now the main event. Now first off the bat, you'll notice um, the, the paint itself is a bit different from the regular PS4. Uh, this part here on regular, uh, a regular PS4 is usually a sleek black and the rest of it is a matte finish. But in this particular case, this whole thing is a matte black with the uh, orange uh, outlines to it. Looks like they've got orange buttons here. They have uh, some of the symbols here. I believe they're the campaign multiplayer and zombie logos on the bar here from left to right respectively. So that's kind of neat, although it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason to why these are here and not maybe spread out throughout the rest of it. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, I believe the regular PS4 has that PlayStation logo there anyway. Nothing else is really all that different about it. So unlike some of the other ones, like the Metal Gear um, PS4 or some of the other ones where they have a completely different finish on the top, this one does not. So if you're actually looking for a more minimalist approach to your PS4 design, you may like this one better because it's not quite as drastic as some of the other ones where this entire thing is like red or uh, gold or white or whatever. And last but not least, obviously, is the Black Ops 3 game that comes with it, along with your typical instruction manuals and various other uh, things that you'll probably never read, <laughs> but you don't really need to. I believe inside of this, there should be the uh, Nuketown map codes. Uh, 
Yep, so the Nuketown codes, I'm not gonna flip this page because the code's on the back and you have the main game itself. Now, uh, I was assuming this would probably be like a download code, but it's nice that they include a physical copy as well, because I'm one of those old school people that still likes having physical copies of things. I haven't quite moved into the new century where everybody's totally cool with just digital everything. I like having backups. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it. There's surprisingly not much to say about, uh, about this PS4. I mean, it's a pretty clear case of what you see on the box is exactly what you get. Um, I like the fact that it is a terabyte, uh, it has a one terabyte hard drive, which I will of course need because I was actually starting to run out of room on my other PS4, uh, which was only half that. And um, the controller's pretty cool. The only complaint I would have is that um, it's a shame that the controller, see how this is gray? but the rest of this is just solid black. They could have done something where the, the, they would have filled the inside of each one of these with gray, but again, they didn't, so <laughs> what are you gonna do? So anyway, that's it. That's the Black Ops Special Edition uh, PS4 console. I hope everybody enjoys the game. We worked really hard on it. As my own little personal aside, um, if you happen to get to the end of the uh, first level in the story campaign, uh, check it out. <laughs> Some of my best work in there, and you'll see what I mean when you see it. <laughs> but uh, other than that, thanks for watching.